so far as I know, we were the only family with children to move south and join the Civil Rights Movement. My intention was, I'll send story ideas to editors I know in New York from Mississippi. These will be wonderful stories because I'll be on the spot and they'll be in much greater depth and human interest and so on. We were living in a white neighborhood. Our neighbors were racists. You could read of somebody being killed every, almost every day. We lived in an atmosphere of fear. Do you know this picture? It's one of the most dramatic pictures, I think, that was ever taken in the South. Anthony Quinn, who was five years old, he's carrying a small American flag. The police reached to grab the American flag, this hated symbol of an integrated society. His mother said, Anthony, don't let that man take your flag. Anthony hung on. The cop, I'm sure, had never in his life experienced resistance from a small black child. He grabbed the flag and he, he tried to yank it out of the kid's hands and he pulled Anthony off the pavement and then he fell down. The great spirit sent me another policeman in the background who had a sign that said, stop police brutality. And it all fitted into the frame. I was in the middle of this. Nobody saw me, no black photographer could survive doing this. I knew I was photographing history, and I wanted to record it as, as much as I could. 